What is up, FIFA faithful? Bear Hams here with episode 12 of my Leeds United career mode. And before we get into this matchup against Aston Villa, let's talk about all the games that happened off camera. First and only game off camera this progress date, March 4th. Leeds United beat Crystal Palace 1 0. The only goal was a Cody Gakbo goal that uh, shouldn't really have been. It's once again another poor pass from the goalkeeper. Gakpo able to bury it home. For this episode, we will be finishing the month of March as we do have an away fixture against West Ham to end the month. And we also have another away fixture at the Molyneux against Wolves. But let's get it started. So we do have a home game against Aston Villa. I'm still reeling from that Carabao Cup final loss to Manchester United. Just an awful way to lose it in the final seconds as Ronaldo just buried that shot home. But the good thing is we still have a lot to play for in the Premier League as... I mean, there's still an opportunity for us to get Europa League, but also possibly a Champions League spot. Or maybe a good chance here. Rodrigo shoots and scores. A great start. Rodrigo able to get the pass from Bamford. And just 10 minutes in, it's the boys in white with the early lead. Yeah, it's funny with Rodrigo. He is 31 years old. He started the save at 79 overall, and now he's at an 81. There's only one player on the team now that is under 80, and that is Ailing, our right back. Now this is the Jamaican, standing on it. Does get the pass through. Great save by Melier. Able to tip that to the side as that was a booming header from Tyrone Mings. It's going to go for a cross. We'll find Bamford. Taps that through. Oh, for a split second, I thought Greenwood got the second. Oh, poor pass by Phillips trying to find Bamford, but that will do it for the opening half. We do get the early goal from Rodrigo. Top of the box, header. Thankfully, that does loop over, but yet again, another chance for Aston Villa here. Soriano from the spot. Pops it in. Chance for a volley here. It's popped out. Thankfully, Rodrigo is able to corral it down. Can try to fling a good pass here. Greenwood trying to split the difference here as he does get through. Takes the shot and scores. A great counterattack. A great pass from Rodrigo. Able to set up Greenwood. Yeah, I think we might have this one in hand. Passing through. Bailey looking for that shot, but Durante has other plans. And yet again, another great save, Melier. Only two minutes of stoppage time. Only one chance for Aston just to get a consolation goal. Del Ghazi does slip that through to Mendy, who is on side. He does shoot it wide, and that will be the end of it. We do get two goals. One by Rodrigo, one assisted by Rodrigo. Yet again, another three points in the bank for Leeds. Some good news on the end of Ilian Melier. I hope I pronounced his first name right. He is the clean sheet leader at the moment with eight in 28 matches. Could find himself another Golden Glove Award. For the second game of the episode, we head to the West Midlands to take on Wolves. Would be nice to get yet another away victory. Just going to be difficult getting past a back five. I do have problems with that formation. Rodrigo just gonna take a shot from distance oh what a start what a start oh yeah I'm having a hard time with the back five nope clearly not straight away Rodrigo top right corns as I said before what a start yeah they just gave him way too much space and that saw was as confused as I was just like okay I'll just take it then yeah and that proves why Rodrigo is just the bread and butter of this team there's a cross the box as they look to equalize, but it will fall to Nandez. Maybe a chance here on the counter. Bamford does get past his defender. If he can shoulder off his player there. Does take it, scores. Good grief. Two goals straight away. I, yeah, not even a little more than 10 minutes. Yeah, this might get ugly, folks. He's going to get tripped up. No call as that was... Well-timed, I would have to admit. Now a pie in the corner. Centers that through to Fernandez. Who centers that through. And that will be the first goal given up this game and this episode. As, I mean, they did a good job. So that will be Alfredo Morelos, the former Rangers man with the goal. Now just a couple of ticks left in the opening half. What can we do here to maybe get a third goal? That center through Rodrigo takes it. All right, that's what we do to get a third goal. Rodrigo with his second on the afternoon. He's able to take in the pass. Nice little touch and a nice 
finish for the Spaniard as we will take a quick replay there. Yes, well placed, my man. Now the last chance, four wolves this half. Header straight to the feet of Ailing. Harrison's just going to boot it to kill it. And that'll be the half. And what a half it was. Three goals, two by Rodrigo. So we do head to the tunnel here at the Molyneux with a two-goal advantage. There you go. Nice tackle by Harrison. That will give us enough time to make a sub here. I do want to bring on Torres. I think we'll have him go out wide. If we have any youngsters that we want to bring on as well, I think. Let's, uh, you know, let's try Greenwood at striker. We'll put Torres on the right. And I think we'll put Gakpo on the left. And then for our final sub, final sub, bring on Zifuk. Yeah, he looks a little tired. Try to get a pass through. Almost goes for the nasty challenge, but it won't matter. We do win 3-1 against Wolves. A fantastic performance from Rodrigo. Two goals and an assist. Once again, another three points in the bank. For the third and final game of today's episode, we take on Mark Noble's West Ham. I hate to admit, but I do love the bubbles. I have a friend that also plays FIFA, and he absolutely hates them. But, you know, it, it adds to the, the experience. It's, oh, there's an interesting try for a bicycle kick there by Bamford. So it'll be interesting to see if we can make this a perfect three for three. This is Bowen. Gets that intercepted. It's now Rodrigo, who has been hot as of late, trying to get that run by Bamford. It looks like Zuma's gonna easily corral that in. Tap set through. Nandez will go out wide to Greenwood. Tries to get it back inside, but will deflect straight to Ailing. Ooh, that was close. Rodrigo's really feeling himself after that early minute goal in the last game. There's a nasty cross in. Oh my goodness. Point blank. No one was there to cover Duvan Zapata. But it is the Colombian getting the hammers on the board. There you see him, the bubbles. I don't like him as much now after that goal given up, but still enjoy it. Ball in the box. Harrison does win the header, but there's a chance for him. Great block though. Another great block. That could have been ugly. Now Greenwood is going to try to find Bamford here on the bounce. Patrick Bamford, will he shoot it? Yes, he will, and he will score. Gets the equalizer right in added time. So he's just going to run straight to the tunnel. Well, he is, you know, his teammates are going to get in the way. Chance on the counter now, Ben Rama. Does make Urente miss, but Urente won't miss for a second time. A little more than 10 minutes left. Who is going to take this game-winning goal? Well, not with efforts like that, as we are going to make some subs here. Well, we'll keep Bamford on. Let's, uh, let's bring on Gakbo. Keep on Greenwood. Um, I do want to bring in Torres to some extent. I think what we'll do here... Yeah, we'll go for the ye old 4-4-2 setup. More like a 4-2-4. So we'll... Uh, Switch these guys out. Rodrigo at his normal spot. And uh, we'll put, yeah, we'll put Torres as a winger. And we'll put Gakpo up top as a striker. Maybe a chance here. Greenwood, oh, tries to curl it, but yet again, another save. Now we do have a chance for a corner. It's Phillips. Props it up. Coke with the header. Great save once again by the West Ham keeper. So we're just trying to float chance after chance. Greenwood gets a pass. Rodrigo! Good grief, Rodrigo has been on a tear. Gets his second brace of the episode. And that will indeed be the game winner here at London Stadium. As the team is just going absolutely bonkers in that corner. So too are the away fans. Smart idea by Greenwood to pass it off to Rodrigo, who just barely squeaks it into that bottom left corner we've gone perfect three for three in this episode damn 14 goals and 30 matches for the veteran so we do have to hold on for at least a little while longer west ham can pull off the equalizer so we are down a man in the midfield since we tried to go more forward attacking and this might hurt us in the end as again there's Enough time for West Ham, though. A great play by Urente. It's ailing. Just hoofs it up. 
And that will do it. Great way to end the episode, a nine-point episode. Once again, the star is Rodrigo with that game-winning shot in the 86th minute, able to curl it past the West Ham keeper. And you're going to like where we are in the table now. So after that nail-biting victory against West Ham and only eight games remaining in the season, Leeds are sitting in third place. And at this point, it should be the goal. Champions League or bust. The way this team has played in the past couple episodes, they deserve it outright. So on that hopeful note, it is time to end. I hope you enjoyed watching as much as you did playing it. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. This has been Bare Hands, and as always, to the loo.